Okay, so now we're on to the fleshing part of our pasta. So the first thing we're gonna do, I got it washed yesterday, had it hanging for about 24 hours. It's all nice and dry. Uh, you know, you wanna make sure it's all dry. I combed it out again to double check, make sure there's no burrs or any mats in its fur. So now we're just gonna get it turned inside out here and get it on our beam. So, there we go. Now when you put it on your beam, you wanna make sure it's pulled pretty snug. Cause if you start going and it's loose and you got wrinkles in here, you're gonna hit wrinkles and it's gonna, <clears throat> you might, you're gonna cut holes where the wrinkles are. So I was like, just take my knife on the doll side, just pull it down, you can usually pull it snug. Now, depending on your possum, uh, you might not need to use the sharp side at all. I'm gonna use, this is a pretty big one. It felt, seemed like a pretty old one when I was skinning it. So I'm just gonna get it started here with the uh, sharp, sharp side. And it's starting to wrinkle up by the neck. So I just wanna try to get it pulled down as tight as I can because again, you will, you'll slice right through if you, if you get a wrinkle underneath there, so. And now just, just getting it started. Just a little, just a little bit to get started here with the sharp side. And then just keep testing it. See, we can already get going with the dull side. And depending on your possum, you might be able to, might be able to start right away with your uh, dull side. So it's gonna, they flush pretty easy. Just uh, take your time, don't press too hard. They're a lot thinner than a raccoon is, so just uh, take her nice and slow. Don't, uh, now when you're flushing, you can see, holding on with two hands, I'm just working down and nice and slow. Don't be going off here on the sides and trying to flush on the sides. If you're flushing on the ends of your beam, you're gonna be cutting holes in how long you end your beam. So just throw off, so. We got it pretty good here, and quite honestly, I probably wouldn't have had to start with start with the sharp side, but you never really know until you try. So now I'm gonna take this chunk that we just fleshed down, cut that off. I don't like I don't like having them chunks hanging down there because they just flop around the whole time. Some people like to have it on there, but not me. So now we'll pull it up, rotate it so that. We got one arm on here. We started with the back side on there nice and even. Now we'll put the one arm hole on here nice and even. Again, pull it snug. And we'll start with the dull side. And we might have to do a little bit of sharp side right here by the head. It's just a little bit that was still kind of tough on there. So just take her slow. The back was thin, the belly is even thinner. <clears throat> So you really do not want to put too many holes in here. Now, just work around the arm. Uh, you don't have to get it real good around the arm when you're flashing it down the board. We'll pull the arm up, put it on the cone of our of our uh, beam here and get it flushed around, flushed around the arm real nice. So you don't have to worry about that quite yet. So when you got that side done, just cut that off. Now I've got nice, nice and clean. And we're working it evenly around. We're working down to the same, work it down to the same length as you did on the other side. As you can see here, we're at the same length here. So I'll just pull it tight again. With, now we have the other last side on here. And depending on your beam, uh, you know, the way mine works is you can get it in three, three turns, uh, or two turns, three sides. But if you got a skinnier beam, you just have to turn it more. And you probably can't go much wider of a beam for possum because otherwise it won't fit on your beam. So uh, by the head here, looks like it's gonna be a little tough, just a little bit here. And then we're off to the races with the dull side. When in doubt, use the dull side. You can always you can always switch back to the sharp side, but if you use a sharp, sharp side and you put a hole in it, there's no going back after that. So again, I'm just kind of fleshing down real easy. Possums don't take a lot of pressure with your arms. Um, you know, just, just, you'll, you'll get, you gotta just learn the feel of it. There's nothing you can really do and nothing I can say that'll help you learn any more than you going out and 
getting the feel of it. So now the head, I'm not worried much about right, right around the head. Uh, that's pretty thin, it all dries out. So now, like I said, we're gonna just pull it up and put that armhole on the horn. And then from there, you can really easily get that fat that's around the leg. Get this fat and just get it all pulled off of there. Real nice. So pulling it up on the horn here makes it a lot easier when you're working around working around the arms and try to try to do all that work on a flat surface. So I'm just gonna pull it up to the other one, put the other leg in here, do the same thing. Hopefully this is slow enough guys where you can see what I'm doing and really understand and learn what I'm doing. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to knock these out in probably five minutes if you'll be able to flush these or less, depending on how good you like it. I'm, I'm pretty particular when I uh, cut when it comes to my handling, so I usually am not in too big of a hurry. I like to make it look nice. So now we got both the arms done. We're gonna pull it up, go back to where we started on the back side here, and get it up a little ways, and we'll just take a clamp. This is just a little like carpentry clamp, or spring loaded, and just clamp it on there to hold it, hold it from pulling back over. Now, this stuff is just shaving right off real nice. Uh, it's nice and cooled down, just spat. So we're just gonna be able to slice her off real easily here and hopefully not hit a hole or a scar or anything. If you're fleshing and you hit a scar, that sucks, but there's not much you can do about it. You know, uh, just take your, take, if you're taking it slow and really watching and paying attention, uh, you can usually see the scars beforehand, but sometimes they're underneath the fat and they pop up on you. And that's just the way it is, happens on all creatures. So this is actually the little tri uh, little square piece of our tail. So we're just coming down to the end and we're fleshing it off. Now right on the tail, it's a little bit tougher, but I think I'll still be able to get it with the dull side. Just push a little bit harder. And uh, let's see here. Don't wanna really use the sharp side, but I'm gonna have to just a little bit here and peel it right off nice so now that one complete side is completely fleshed now when you get down to the edges make sure the edges are actually clean sometimes when you're fleshing down to these edges the fat will just roll over and not actually just connect all the way with a with a possum the hair is not as poofy it doesn't have as, the fat doesn't have as much room to hide in there so it works a little better with the raccoon uh that happens a little more but now we're just gonna do the same thing as we did earlier. Just rotate it. I'm gonna get it situated, reclamp it, <clears throat> and then just go back at it. Just taking my time. Stuff's peeling off like butter. And just knocking it out. Oop, got it. Now I like to have a trash can here beside me to throw Throw the fat in when I'm going. It's a lot easier than picking it all up off the ground and uh, so forth. So now this is one leg right here that I'm just flushing down and I uh, got that one clean. So now we just got the one, one side left right here. So pull that up on your speed, clamp it and just flush it out. Nice and easy. Nothing real strenuous. If you want to learn how to flesh, you get a possum. That's the e probably one of the easiest things to flesh. If you're gonna if you're gonna flesh coon, you get the hang of it on a possum because it's a little bit easier, a little bit uh, less less work of pushing. Not it's the fat isn't so tough. If you want to just learn about it, you can try on a possum. So now we're coming down. This is the last leg here. There's just a little bit of fat on here yet. So we'll just, just skim it off, and there we go. Now it looks pretty clean. If you're worried you got milk, oops. If you're worried you missed any spots, just uh, look around. I always like to look at the base, make sure I didn't roll any over the edge. And that looks pretty good. Uh, always double check sometimes when you're doing a bunch of these or you're just working on stuff, 
Uh, you'll forget to do around the arms, so make sure you always do around the arms. But anyway, hopefully you can see that in nice light. It's nice and clean. No fat left on there. Time for the boarding process.